what's up so welcome back to another new and exciting session of has lecture series and today we will be discussing about kinetics of elimination the first order kinetics and the zero order kinetics hey doc do you want to have a coffee break uh actually yes but why don't you join here for a coffee i have coffee here oh wow yeah sure okay have a seat so here we have a two cups and kettle full of coffee and i would like to demonstrate uh, the kinetics of elimination using these two things here okay so we start up with the first order kinetics uh, so the cup here actually represents um, the system in which there are enzymes which are ready to metabolize or eliminate the drug and then we have the kettle here which is full of coffee and it represents the drug and now what will happen when i start off pouring this coffee in this cup now as you can see the coffee is getting poured in this cup but the cup is still able to hold on to the coffee okay the cup is still able to hold on to the amount of coffee which is entering this cup because there are enzymes there are enzymes which are present within the score within this cup which are which are uh, outnumbering the volume of the coffee entering this cup and are metabolizing it okay so this is what we call it as the first order kinetics where the amount of the drug getting metabolized is directly proportional to the amount of the drug getting metabolized more the drug entering the system more the drug enter the system you can see the coffee pouring in inside the cup more is the drug which is getting metabolized the reason being the number of enzymes outnumber the volume of the drug or the coffee in this cup okay so that is what we call it as the first order kinetics where the input is directly proportional to the increase so on the other side also increase output that was about the first order kinetics now my friend here likes to drink more amount of coffee so the next system comes in the play i start off giving drugs to the individual that is pouring in coffee the cup is able to hold on to the coffee which is entering the cup okay so you can see that is still following the first order kinetics not all enzymes at this present are utilized for metabolizing the drug there is still a gap but now let's see what happens i still keep on pouring the coffee i still keep on pouring the coffee till this point where the coffee is reaching the very edge of the cup can you see it can you see it okay i appreciate the coffee is full in this cup it's still the dream now all the enzymes that were present within this cup within this cup are utilized for metabolizing or eliminating this coffee okay so now the kinetics have changed from the first order from the first order which is unsaturated kind of a kinetics to the one which is the saturated kind here is the saturated kinetics because the cup is full of coffee all the enzymes in this cup are getting into the system metabolizing this drug or the coffee now i keep on still pouring the coffee or the drug inside the system the next thing what should happen is the coffee is going to get out of the cup into the saucer into the saucer can you appreciate that can you appreciate the co coffee has spilled out into the saucer now this is what you call it as the zero order kinetics where where the enzymes are completely saturated and the output output is independent of the input of the input the output here has no relationship with the drug concentration i may keep on pouring the coffee inside but what should come out will be independent of what is going inside so in the first order kinetics first order kinetics here yeah it was a dependent process more the drug concentration 
more is the elimination or the metabolism but once it has gone from this first order to zero order what has happened is that saturation of enzymes have occurred so here the output process the elimination or the metabolism process is independent of the input of the input now the spilling of the coffee which you see here in zero order kinetics is exactly what happens when drugs goes into the zero order kinetics because what happens is the drug gets accumulated in the body once it goes into the zero order as you can see the kind of spillage here the same occurs with the drugs so the toxic results of the drugs come about if they follow the zero order kinetics examples of zero order kinetics would be drugs like warfarin and phenytoin or theophylin also which follow the zero order kinetics but in therapeutic doses usually what is followed is the first order kinetics now let's see it when with the help of a graph uh, the same things and try to correlate it more so now we have two graphs here uh, we consider the graph on this side which is shown with the arrow and what we have on this axis is the concentration of the drug uh, and the rate of clearance or the metabolism now it's clearly seen that as you increase the concentration of the drug the rate of clearance or the metabolism does go on increasing does go on increasing the reason being the reason being at all times in the body not all enzymes are utilized for metabolism or for elimination of the drugs so as you go on increasing the concentration more and more enzymes of the body get involved in clearance or metabolism of the drug so what you can say from this graph is the elimination the rate of elimination is directly proportional to the concentration so more the concentration of the drug more is the rate of clearance till a certain point is reached is reached you can see it here it's called as the point of enzyme saturation it's called as point of enzyme saturation where almost all enzymes needed for clearance or metabolism of, of drugs are been utilized after this point after this point it will be no more a first order elimination it will change itself to zero order kinetics or the elimination of the drug now on to this side this graph now what you can see is if you inject large doses of phenytoin large doses of phenytoin and again this is a graph of concentration so increase in concentration shown on this axis against time so as you inject large doses of phenytoin what happens is that the phenytoin levels in the body starts falling starts falling this might be due to the elimination process uh, some part may be also due to distribution whatever it might be the levels of phenytoin in the body starts falling down now here what is happening is now in this part of the graph what is happening is uh, more and more enzymes are taking part in elimination of phenytoin more and more enzymes are taking part in elimination of phenytoin so this part from this point to this point is what we usually called as the first order kinetics the elimination is directly proportional to the amount of concentration of the drugs but at this point all enzymes in the body are utilized which are of course for elimination or metabolism of phenytoin and after this what we start getting is the zero order kinetics where where the rate of metabolism or the rate of elimination is not proportional or is independent of the concentration because the system is saturated here at this point the system is going to get saturated so it's going to be a zero order kinetics after this where the rate of elimination is independent of the concentration of the drug so these are two graphs which again explain something on the first order something on saturation and how first order changes to the zero order kinetics or the elimination of the drug now the next uh, in line is these two graphs again a typical of first order and second order elimination 
So here you have the first order elimination again, the drug is injected and what you can see is that the levels fall down as the time passes on and the concentration of the drug is directly proportional here to the elimination. More the concentration, more is the elimination. The T half lives as you can see here remains almost same as far as first order elimination is concerned. Now this is the saturated kinetics or the zero order elimination. Remember here this in system is completely saturated. You have no more enzymes which can take part in elimination or metabolism of the drugs. So the fall the fall of the drug concentrations here or the metabolism or the elimination of the drug concentration here is independent of the concentration of the drug in the body. Okay, so it is, it's independent, it's not proportional as what you see in the first order kinetics. There are a few drugs which are first of all in first order elimination. But later on, as you increase the dose, it can go on to zero order elimination or kinetics. Uh, the best examples of that would be drugs like phenytoin, warfarin and so on. Remember, if the drug follows zero order kinetics or saturated kinetics, there is a likely possibility that the drug levels might just increase um, in the body and the toxic effects of the drug might be seen if uh, the drug follows the zero order because here the output is independent of the drug concentration of the drug concentration but mostly most of the drugs which are used in therapeutics usually follow the first order elimination at therapeutic levels. Uh, so you need to know as clinicians the difference between zero order and the first order kinetics or saturated kinetics over the unsaturated kinetics and how does it affect us when you prescribe drugs. Now that was my short analysis uh, and my coffee party with you people as far as elimination of kinetics was concerned. I hope you like this session. Do subscribe to my channel. Uh, keep watching. Enjoy listening and learning. Thank you. Bye.